hey guys and welcome to Gary G Reviews so you must be wondering what the heck are you doing Gary well I'm on my treadmill and I decided to do this kind of a video which I've never done before actually and it's not about working out it's actually about Vikings I just don't have a lot of time you know to film and to train so I was like why not combine the two you know and I decided to do that so guys, you know that from time to time I do, you know, talk about Vikings. I react to some of the trailers, especially for this new season. I'm a pretty big fan of the show and uh, of Lagata, <laughs> fan of Bjorn and Ragnar back when he was a character in the show. And I watched this latest episode and I don't want to spoil it for you, but this is the point of the whole video. You know the topic that I'm going to talk about and it's a huge freaking fat spoiler so if you don't want to be spoiled maybe you know just uh, first go watch the show and then watch me <laughs> if you like so uh, I'm disappointed guys so this season is extremely dumb it's, it's stupid it's, uh, it's low paced uh, there's some interesting stuff going on you know with Ivar over in Russia, yeah, and the story of Big Cirque is just super stupid and terrible. I mean, I understand that he is scarred by what Ivar did to his love, but to this extent, this is, this is extremely dumb for me. Oh, anyways, but I want to talk about what just happened to Lagata. So, in previous seasons, and once again, guys. Uh, spoilers here. In previous seasons there was a prophecy that I totally forgot about and maybe some of you also forgot about that she's going to be killed. Sorry my my gimbal's battery just died so as you continue. So in the previous seasons there's a prophecy that she's going to be killed by one of Ragnar's sons. I do not remember this now. I mean I remember it because they tried to make us remember it. Uh, anyway, so it was extremely stupid scene because Lagata was on her way uh, when she was uh, super heavily wounded to Kattegat. Like who travels in such conditions with, uh, with such a huge freaking wound on her and like literally it was super open and she even like reached and you know put her hand there and it was absolutely ridiculous. So who would have uh, traveled like that, first of all? That's extremely stupid. I want to tell my son, Bjorn, like, okay, you want to tell him, but you're like in mortal danger and you literally want to risk your life just to go and tell him something where anybody else could go while, she, you know, she was recovering. So that was extremely stupid. It didn't make any freaking sense to me. Uh, like literally she killed herself. Now, if we start to think, you know, about Bjorn, he is the one that is responsible for all this because, you know, he was not the man enough, so speaking, king enough, and he just banished those uh, Ivar guys instead of just killing them off. And because of all of that, now one of his sons is dead, and his mother is dead, and his wife is wounded. Awesome stuff. Bjorn is just awesome king, you know. So in this season Bjorn really sunk into my eyes very badly. Lagata was ridiculous. In one scene she is bearing her sword like Xena in the first episode of Xena Warrior Princess season 1. And then in the second she's like, well, okay, we have to fight because we're, you know, so vulnerable here. So we have to do something. We're obviously attacked, you know. And I'm like, yeah, like, good morning to you. Of course you have to do that, goodness sakes. But anyways, I get that she wanted to have different art, you know, she wanted to just live a normal life. But of course, that is not possible to people like this that make history and that are such huge figures and so many people look after them. So in this last episode, they decided to have this fight between Lagata and this super unworthy, disgusting guy. Lagata was uh, pretty badly you know, beaten. I mean, he he got a lot from her as well. Uh, 
but I mean that they make her first thing make her look old when she's not. I mean, she's supposed to be old, of course, in the show, but Tatry Winnick is not. That's another story. But, you know, they wounded her in the previous season with the legs, so now she's limping all the time. And then she just defeats the guy in a very, very tough fight. And Brokhild is like, oh, I'm, I'm Shield Maiden. I've done so many things, but I've never seen anything like this before. Okay, yeah, that was pretty amazing that she survived this fight. Brokhild is very inspired by Zagata, but really this is very artificial because it was just built up for a few episodes and the fight wasn't that long and honestly I don't know how a story like Lagata's story could end properly that is definitely not a proper way to end the story uh, if you ask me there could be a lot of other ways that you know she could have died without me feeling so ridiculous about it because again She's a smart woman, why would she want to kill herself? So, okay, first, Bjorn is to blame, but second, after all of that happened, you know, and she wasn't that cautious enough, she was so naive to believe that she could just live into the woods, and they, what, they do not communicate with uh, Bjorn and her, that those guys are just on the loose, and they think that, what, they're not going to do anything, they're not going to retaliate, they're not one. <laughs> They are not going to want revenge on what happened. I, I mean, about what happened. Like, what? They, they, they're so naive. All of them is ridiculous. So, for me, it's bad writing, really. I know it's a, it's the last season, but yeah, that still does not give it an excuse to be that dumb. Uh, another point is that, of course, after that, after she is uh, traveling, it is absolutely horrendous condition which again it's extremely dumb you just can't help but tell you how dumb it is again of course Vitzirk that there was uh, they were building him for something and look what it is he is crazy so he can go and just kill Lagata so his whole arc about him being so upset about what Ivor did that he killed his uh, woman and all of that and he going crazy berserk all of a sudden by berserk I mean the berserk version of being absolutely nuts and in depression and all of that and drug addict and so on the viking version of that so all of this uh, it's made so Lagata can come <laughs> in this condition on a horse on a rainy night some woman is trying to rip her lungs out singing a song about Lagarta which some will say like well it's fitting because they're singing about Lagarta no uh, for me this is like a cheap way to say oh my gosh now we're killing Lagarta because you know we killed Ragnar and we gave him like uh, a very uh, how to say this very tragic death that you can really feel in the same time this is what happened in history kind of as far as I know at least I mean history anybody anything could happen but this as far as I know the way that he died is the accepted way a like historically accepted version maybe anyway so I don't know how Loretta died in real life she of course had nothing to do with this Lagata probably but the point is I really don't know how the real Lagata died and uh, I mean that they not they not follow the history anyways you know that closely they're doing whatever they like but guys this is really uh, how to say it it was just really so ridiculous so Fitzirk is seeing her like the snake and he just decides to what, overcome his fear or also and just uh, go and kill the snake. It is absolutely ridiculous. And then of course he realizes it's Lagarta. And now in the next episode they're gonna get there one to they're probably going to want to kill him on the stake if we you know if we just write a promo. 
or maybe the problem wants us to think that they want to kill him this way, I don't know. I mean, I don't really care by this point. And you know, that thing that happened with King Harold Fine Hair, that, you know, he became king, I think that that is what happened in history anyways. And Bjorn didn't become king of Norway. Uh, Edge, I mean Edge is... Uh, I call him Edge, he's from WWE, one of the actors that plays the, this big guy that killed a lot of people on that, uh, on that island with Loki. He all of a sudden wants to help Bjorn and all of a sudden they attack Bjorn. Uh, I mean everything was done in such a way that I can't understand like what Harold wants Bjorn dead now because if Bjorn uh, decided to not go and meet with King Oleg, none of that would have happened. And Bjorn would be just a king to Kattegat and everything was gonna be great, you know, or at least good for some time until the Rus come. So, it's, it's very bad. I mean, everything is concluded, it's bad writing, none of that, none of it really connects very well, none of it really makes a lot of sense. It's very bad, it's like watching the first season of a show, not, not the last season, you know, you say, well, this guy Michael Hirsch now, he has so much experience writing these characters for so many years, actress that plays Dory, and the other actress that is her sister, they are both, you know, Michael Hirsch's daughters, they came here to Bulgaria, they were on our Comic Con, uh, I filmed an interview with them, I mean, not an interview, me, like I did with, uh, with Sam Jones uh, but I mean they were on stage and they gave an interview and they say that that and they say, say like well our father he you know he writes everything like it's interesting and sometimes you have to decide who to leave who to die yeah 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 this is like default talk I know all about that of course he's a writer and when you're a writer you really want to kill a lot of people sometimes just to make it interesting but you know I appreciate that Lagata was for so long around I really do because she's a great character she's one of my favorite actually female characters anyways of all time after Xena the last two seasons they made her crazy they make her like so beaten, so weak. It's ridiculous. I mean, for a woman that is used to having children, taking care of those children, being a leader, a queen, a shield maiden, having to deal with so many guys that don't really wish her well sometimes and having to overcome them, beat them, kill them, uh, helping Ragnar become the man that he became and in the same time making a name for herself being the most famous woman uh, by King Woman Chilmaiden and you know the same way that Ragnar is but she's the female version so to speak of Ragnar in a way and she was uh, as legendary as he is and now she's also killed off I was just praying for her, for her not to be killed off in the earlier seasons, which I'm grateful for that she she wasn't. And again, it's very difficult to write an end for such a character that is going to be, you know, it's going to feel satisfactory, satisfactory. But what happened here with that stupid, you know, stupid prophecy? I don't know, guys. Because from one hand, if some of other some of the other Ragnar's kings had killed her, like, you know, if, if Ivor had killed Lagarta, that's gonna be a lot worse than Pixar. <laughs> Just prefer, prefer from one hand to be this way, because, uh, you know, at least this way, Pixar didn't hate Lagarta, he didn't want her to be dead, he, you know, realized how important she is, I mean, maybe from the beginning he wanted her dead, you know, when she killed Aslog, but after that, no, changed 
and uh, the only one that won't learn to that was Ivor. In the last episode, when he pretended to be a god, he decided to kill another woman that resembled Larenda from afar, which was very, very ridiculous. Yeah, and I don't know why they did that as well. That was so extremely stupid again. And see how, uh, how Ivor, see how Ivor has changed now. It's so huge contrast, you know, from what he was in the previous season. Because in the previous season he was just insane. He really believed himself, and now to be just a regular guy, just kept there in that palace, and to see how other people can be more crazy than him, and for him to actually realize that yeah you could be even bad I mean worse than him really evil now, now he realizes you know what evil really looks like from the side maybe that's interesting arc for him but it just again doesn't make very much sense for me to be in that state to believe so much in yourself uh, and to that extent that you Killed so many people, innocent women, and I think children. I'm not sure. I have to remember the previous season, pretending to be a god, believing that you can have kids, believing so naively that uh, a very attractive girl just, you know, uh, had a kid from you. That's absolutely ridiculous, knowing that he cannot have kids because just because she cut her hand and his hand and they made this like this is not how you make babies Haybar <laughs> uh, so there's so many things that started to you know work apart and I was like okay I don't really care about this I don't care I don't really care about that you know about I was art that much I don't really like him anyway uh, and all of that in the beginning he was interesting then he became this nuts not character like crazy and I was like uh, uh, what what wait I mean if I didn't like him that much before except for the fact that he's really handsome <laughs> and a very 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 strong presence on screen uh, now I, I dislike him even a lot more because he's like completely ridiculous and useless I really wanted him to be just killed off but apparently he has now a growing art, so he's going to be redeemed, pretty sure. He's going to reconnect with his brothers. He's going to somehow turn against, you know, the rules and kill off that annoying king, emperor, or something, whatever he is. Uh, and I don't know why this woman that the king just married looks exactly like Freya. And it's also a very huge coincidence that. For me, it just speaks as bad writing because what are the freaking odds? <laughs> She's either Freya or not Freya, and the chances of that happening to be exact same is just ridiculous, stupid. And of course, uh, that's gonna be used against him now, and we're seeing how he's been, so to speak, mentally abused like a little child, depending how you look at it. But, I don't want to get into this mindset at all. I'm just saying that he was really abused last episode, but, but he had to watch that. And so on, guys, but uh, the characters that really care about are Bjorn and Lagarta. But this season, I really am just like watching them like I don't care. I just don't freaking care anymore. They make me not care. And when the show makes me not care, that means that it's like fast food. That means that it lost its substance. That means that no longer has that soul and just wearing wearing the you know the the body of the previous show what under me just doesn't have any soul just the double ganger of the original show that's how i can put it so yeah guys i hope that uh you enjoyed this video although it's strange very strange <laughs> but uh it's uh, a way for me I'm just trying it, of course. If you don't like it, I'm not going to do it anymore. Uh, but I'm trying this because, in a way, I'm working out and talking with you guys. And you can still hear my opinion about something that otherwise I would not be able to make a video about, you know, in general. 
just because of the time, so yep. Whew. I made 114 calories, but I'm going to continue on my own. So thank you very much guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, as I said, about Vikings, about this format. And, uh, and again, thank you for the support. Please check the links down below on social media and all of that. And until next time with me, Gary G. Peace.